Hey guys, so welcome to another episode of What's Standing in the Way of Your Dreams. Today's topic that we're going to cover is haters. So what is a hater, you may ask? A hater has a number of different attributes. Haters can be random people, um, they can be your friends, they can be your family. If they are to comment on your stuff, they usually hide their identity. These haters will try their hardest to bring you down. They will talk badly to you, to other people. They will talk badly to you in group chats. And then everything you put out there, or everything that you do, will get judged by them. Um, and they'll try and ridicule you in one way or another. They're not happy with their own lives, so they want to put you down to make themselves feel better. Often, these people think they know better than you. They think they can do something better than you, but yet they yield zero results. They want to believe that everything you've done or accumulated over the years um, is all due to luck and none of it was due to hard work. But the truth is, these people don't really know who you are. So why do you let that affect you? When we post something out there onto social media or we post something out there and say, you know, we've, we've managed to get a new job or we've managed to do this or we've managed to do that or we're thinking about doing this, that and the other, you may have 99% of positive comments, but it might take that 1%, that one negative comment that you home into and you kind of then forget all about all the positive comments and focus your energy onto the negative comment. Now, why do we do that? I mean, usually these comments don't mean anything. Um, they're, they're a complete lie or they're just trying to evoke a reaction from you. Usually when it comes to thinking about percentages, if you had 99% of something, you wouldn't really care about the 1%. But when it comes to someone that's written a negative comment about you or said something bad about you, you home all your energy onto that. It makes you feel really bad. It makes you feel sort of anxious and sort of insecure. And it makes you question a lot of things. But really, that 1% doesn't mean anything. An example when I needed to deal with a lot of trolls and haters is when I was uh, posting quite a lot of videos on TikTok and they were getting quite a lot of views, a lot of comments and a lot of people would comment on my stuff saying oh that's a really bad way of doing that, um, you should do it this way or you should do it that way or this isn't right and this isn't right and it doesn't matter what I would do or it doesn't matter if I copied what they said for me to do someone else would still comment their own opinion. So it's sort of like everyone has their own opinion on everything, on how they do stuff. Um, just because you do something one way doesn't mean that it's the wrong way. It doesn't mean that it's the right way, but it's the right way for you. When it came to these negative comments, I was taken back. I reply back quite aggressively or defensively. And all this would do would be evoking more of a reaction from them they would probably be enjoying it more because they're annoying you more and more. The best way I found to tackle this issue was to always reply in a positive, polite way. And then they would never really know how to reply back to that. And it would probably annoy them more that their comment hasn't affected you or hasn't annoyed you. And then usually what would happen is either your other followers, your, your friends or your other fans or whatever, they'd jump onto the comment and then they'd barrage and attack them um, in your defense anyway so they would do the work for you so you wouldn't need to even worry about that. Haters are usually amplifying their dissatisfaction with their own lives. Um, this could be down to their upbringing, their self-belief system and sort of just their physiology. They are usually jealous and envious people. They wish bad upon you just because nothing's going right with their own lives but this is because they're not taking action on their own lives. They're not looking at things positively. They're not taking themselves out of the box. I feel that the more you sort of put down other people and the more you make other people feel bad and you talk um, bad stuff about other people, that you may be more fearful to do something courageous yourself or start a new business or take a next step because you might be paranoid that someone might be doing the same stuff to you and then you'll never act on that because you'll think oh bloody hell well if I'm doing this to someone else then someone else is going to be doing this to me and I don't really want someone else to be doing that to me but is it better to be the one that's talking about everyone else 
or is it better to be the one that's being talked about? So before you think of giving up or quitting on something you really want to do just because of a negative comment or just because of a, a hater that's been putting you down, just remember that their opinion on you has nothing to do with you and just add their comments, add their hate onto your fire, your fire to prove people wrong. That will be the best way of success to prove them wrong. So that wraps it up for this short video on haters. Um, sorry if there was any wind in the background. It's quite windy here in Croatia today um, and I've been trying to find a little bit of shelter. I'd rather film outside if possible. So yeah, I'm sorry about the wind. So if you missed my last episode on what's standing in the way of your dreams, that was on guilt. I'll put it in the box above. 